Hey Film Camp, I'm Nicole and I'm going to teach you all about Celtex. In this video, we'll be going over how to create a free Celtex account, proper script formatting for film and TV, and how exactly to create your very own script using Celtex from blank screen all the way to the printer. First thing, of course, is to head to Celtex.com. On the homepage, you'll be prompted to enter your email to sign up. If you don't have an email, ask your parents for theirs and make sure they stick around so you can get the verification code. And once your email is verified, you can sign in. Once you're inside Celtex, find the new project button. A few options will pop up, but we're gonna select film and TV. Now, give your project a cool name and voila, create project. Inside the project, you'll see a few options, but we're just focused on writing today. Click on screenplay and let's go. Now the easy part is out of the way. Let's get to the good stuff. Once you've done a rough outline of your story, of course, begin writing your first scene. Here's what you need to know. Every scene begins with a scene heading that looks like this. Each scene heading is comprised of three parts. We must first identify if a scene takes place inside or outside using the codes INT, meaning interior or inside, and EXT, meaning exterior or outside. Interior? Exterior. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. Then, it's important to identify the setting and time of day. Possible options include morning, day, night, dusk, twilight. <laughs> yeah. Next, it's time to describe the setting, characters, and any action that takes place before your first bit of dialogue. To format this section properly, you can hit tab on your keyboard or find this drop down menu and select action. Things to notice are the first time we mention a character, in this case, me, Nicole, we capitalize the name fully and put in parentheses an approximate age. Then we go on to describe them in italics and describe the scene around them. After you've written your action text, you might be interested in writing some dialogue. Uh, unless it's a silent film, of course. Now you can use the same drop down menu from before to select character or just hit tab until character comes up on the menu. Underneath your character's name is where you put your dialogue. Look familiar? Hey Film Camp, I'm Nicole and I'm going to teach you all about Celtex. Now, the screenwriter, you, is allowed to give some direction to the actors, directors, readers that will help clarify the story and character intention. This description is called a parenthetical. In this case, I'm going to write a parenthetical that says, looking into the camera, so that everyone who's reading it knows what I'm envisioning. Sometimes, parentheticals are also used to describe character emotion. So you might say, angrily, as in the character is about to say this line with anger. Just a note, it's not necessary to use parentheticals for every line of dialogue. It's really only when there needs to be some kind of clarification. Sometimes characters speak with voiceover, which is what I'm doing right now. There are tons of reasons why a script would use voiceover. Whatever the reason may be for using voiceover, all we have to do to indicate in the script is type a VO next to the character's name. Voice over. The final formatting tool every screenwriter needs to know is, of course, transitions. Transitions communicate how and when we move to a next scene. Most common are cut to, smash cut to, and fade to. Cut to meaning just a regular edit, fade to meaning some kind of slow, dissolve, smash cut meaning very abrupt, cut into probably the middle of some kind of action, and most screenwriters end their screenplay with a classic fade to black. And the very last thing to mention about Celtex software is they have these incredible screenwriting tools. If you go over to the Tools tab, you can see that you can navigate your scenes, making it easier to switch back and forth between pages as you write, especially if the script gets long. You can create a title page for your film, or go to a breakdown if you're ready to shoot. And that's the basic rundown of Celtex. Now there are plenty of things about screenwriting we didn't go over in this video, but you know more than enough to get started. Now go write a movie. <laughs>